Okay, now we are looking at taxation. Okay, this is the lesson that we want to look at. We are still looking at social and commercial arithmetic as a topic. So what is taxation? Taxation is a method through which the government raises money in order to render a service to the nation. So the government has two methods of uh, taxation. Okay, one of them is value added tax which we call vat then the other one is income tax all right so we're going to look at these two methods of taxations separately so in this particular lesson we are going to look at value added tax okay so then in the next lesson we'll look at income tax so Value added tax, which is VAT, how do we calculate it? This is calculated as a percentage of the marked price of goods and services. This is calculated as a percentage of the marked price of goods and services. All right? That is value added tax. So, for anything that you buy from the shop, there's a, there's some tax involved there. There's money that goes to the government. All right. So just know that each time you buy something from the the shop, okay. If you want to go to shop right, uh, pick and pay shoppies. Just look at the the, the 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 receipt that you're going to get there. You will see that there is VAT there. All right. You are going to see that there is VAT there. So we have these examples here that we are supposed to look at. All right, I want you to pay particular attention. So the first example reads, a stove costs 3,000 kwacha exclusive, exclusive of, exclusive of VAT, which is value added tax. This 3,000 kwacha does not have the, are we together? So, calculate the cost of the stove if 16% VAT is included. Okay? 16% VAT is included. Calculate the Uh, calculate the cost of the stove if 16% VAT is included. So what are we supposed to do? Just like I said that this three, this 3000 doesn't have the VAT. Alright? So we need to add 16% VAT to this 3000. So there are two methods that we can use here. I want you to pay attention. There are two methods that we can use. So we're going to have method one and method two. So in method one, we are going to say 3,000. Then we add 16%. 16% is 16 over 100 multiplied by Three, what is the 16 percent of 16 uh, of 3000? Sorry, that is what we are doing here. All right, what is 16 percent of 3000? So we have 3000 plus you knock out these two zeros, these ones, then you have 30 multiplied by 16. Can we multiply 30 multiplied by 16? What are we getting? Let's multiply that one 30 multiplied by. 16 so we're going to get what 480 so when you add these two what do we get we're going to have 3480 so this 4000 i mean 480 kwacha this is the vat okay so if you are going to pay for a television this amount just know that the 480 goes to the government as the tax so this is one method that you can use. 
Then the second method is where you say 16%. Please hear me. 16% is supposed to be added. All right? 16%. So we take it that from the 100%. I hope that is clear. From the 100%, on the 100% there, we add 16%. This is 100% plus 16%. We are going to have 116%. Alright? Take note of that. We are going to have 116%. Please, I hope you are hearing me. VAT is not yet included there. So we are including VAT. So we want this, all right, of VAT. So now, you know that 60 uh, of 3,000. I hope this is clear. Then, you know that percentage is out of 100. So we can do this. Multiplied by 3,000. So 3,000, you knock out these two zeros as well as these ones. You are remaining with 116 multiplied by 30. What are you going to get? 116 multiplied by 30. Can we multiply that and see what we are going to get? 116 multiplied by 30. What are you getting? Are we going to get the same amount, which is 3,408? Yes. Okay? So you can either use this method or this one. But one thing I want you to know is, one thing I want you to know is that this amount now is the one that includes what? This is the amount that includes Z. VAT. That is why we added the 16% here. So there is already VAT in this. Now, after we did this. Alright? This is basically what you are supposed to do. I hope you have. So in the exam, don't use both methods. Pick one method that is easier for you. So here we are dealing with a question where VAT is not included. But then we have to include it. Okay? Now, look at the second question. The second question is uh, a digital camera is for sale at 240 kwach. Exclusive. The same thing with exclusive of VAT. Calculate the cost of a camera after 17% VAT was added. All right? Calculate the cost of the camera after. So the same process there is what you are supposed to do. Okay? The same process is what you are supposed to do. Are we there? So, when you work it out, you are supposed to come and get it. I'm not going to show you this one. I'll give you the answer. Alright? I'll give you the answer. Then make sure you get this answer. This is there answer so you can go through you can use one of those methods and then you should be able to get this answer if you do not get this one you can redo it because the process is the same as the one that we used there so we come to the second question this one is different so i'm going to pay attention this one is different a phone costs um 300 48 quach. A phone costs 348 quach, inclusive of VAT. Inclusive of VAT. Okay? Find the price of the phone before VAT was added. VAT is at 16%. VAT is at 16%. All right? A phone costs 348 kwacha inclusive of VAT. Find the price of the phone before VAT was added. So now, uh, I want you to pay attention. This amount includes VAT. It's like it's at this amount already. 
you have this one all right you have this this is already given now in here we have 16 and then they are asking us to take it back to this amount where there is no vat that's what they're asking us to do in that question so they're saying the cost of a phone is 348 inclusive of what inclusive of vat okay inclusive of vat then we want to go back to the amount where it don't have vat all right so now look at this look at what we did here here we were finding six, what is 100 116% of this amount okay because as it stood at first it's like we were we just had it as 100% now we needed to go back to we needed to add 16%. That's why we added this one. But now we are doing a reverse. I hope you are getting me. Now we are doing a reverse. So what we are supposed to do now, we are going to say it will be the opposite of this one here. To be the opposite of this one. So we are going to say 100%, I mean 100 over Okay? This is the percentage now that we are. Because it's like at this point, it is at, this one is at 1-1. One, one. But then we want to go back to what is the original, which is 100%. All right? So we need now to multiply this amount here by, please take note. When you are adding, when you are adding that, this one is going to be on top. This one will be, but when you, you want the amount without VAT. Before VAT was added, this is what you do. It will be the opposite, the other way around. So you say 3, 4, 8. Then at this point now, it's the question of you beginning to simplify. Okay? Beginning to simplify this. You need to break it down and see what you are going to get. All right? So we have to start simplifying it. By saying, what number can go into this one as well as this one? You need just to go uh, slowly but sure. So we have 100 here. So here we can try 2. 2 into 11, it's what? It's 5. Remainder 1 into 16, it's 8. Multiplied by 2 here, it's 1. 2 into 14, 7. Then here we have 4. Again, we can go and use 2 because I'm looking at grid. So 2 here, so we have 100. 2 here, it's 2. 2 into 18. 2 into 18. It's 9. Multiplied by 2 into 17, it's 8. Okay? Then uh, 2 into 14, it's 7. Okay? Then now we need to ask ourselves, can 29 go into 87? All right? When you try to multiply it, try to multiply 29 by 3. What are you going to get? What are you going to get? Multiply 29 by 3. What do you get? So 29 here, it will give you uh, 1. 29 here, it will give you 3. So you multiply 3 by 100. It is going to give us 300. Okay? It's going to give us 300 watch all right it's going to give us 300 quatch so this is what is going to be our answer the same so you should know here this question our answer is going to be 300 quatch this was the amount before that was added so you can see that how much was that that was the 48 quatch okay if the question was asking you to find the actual VAT, so you were going to, after you found the amount for uh, the phone before VAT was added, then you subtract, so it is 480 quad. All right? That is basically what you are supposed to do. As usual, let me give you questions for the exercise. Okay, so these are the questions for your exercise. 
take note here i skipped vat so i have included it that is so far after vat is included so take note of that all right so you need to make sure you answer these questions correctly goodbye don't forget to subscribe to our channel my name is mbondo cb all right goodbye thank you for watching